Hi. Uh, hi, YouTube. Um, I don't do this often. Um, <laughs> I don't record YouTube videos often, so this is new. This is new for me. So uh, let's just jump right into this video. <laughs> Okay, so for my first actual sit down recording YouTube video, um, we're going to go over the wholesome direct that just happened yesterday. Um, I just watched it this morning. Um, it was about an hour long. Lots of games, lots, 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 lots of good games. There were like almost 80 some games, I think I counted that were um, shown in the direct. So and all of them looked amazing, like every single one of them looked amazing and I could probably buy every single one to be honest but uh, I shortened it down to 10 just 10 little games that I am most excited for I would say out of all of them um, and I'm just gonna show you guys the games that I'm excited for a couple of them that I knew about a couple of them that were new from the wholesome direct that I've never seen before so uh, let's just jump right into the first one which I'm really excited for <laughs> Also, can we take a moment for the hair? We just redid her yesterday. I didn't, my hairdresser did. Shout out to the cutting room, Cherish. Love you, girl. Um, it's such a vibe. I'm feeling like Corella DeVille vibes, but anyways, we're not here to talk about me. I just wanted to take a moment for the hair. It's new, okay? <laughs> so the first one, the first one I'm excited about. Uh, I've been wanting this game for a long time. It is uh, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I played this game growing up. I grew up on the GameCube, so this was my game. This was my shit. You know, it was so good. So when I heard they were doing a remake, I was like, hands down, let's go. I'll take my money, please. Um, <laughs> so this one, if you don't know what it is or haven't played the other ones, you're basically taking over a farmstead from family. So you basically have to build up your farm you know, raise some animals, uh, grow some crops, find a family, get to know the townspeople, um, you know, befriend everybody, um, lots of different things. Honestly, there's so much in this game. I can't even explain it, to be honest, but it's so good. Um, I'm, it looks modern. There's more customizations in the character, which I'm excited for. Like you can play a girl, which is great. And the original one, you can only play a dude. So I'm excited you can become as a presenting female and you can do pronouns as well, which I was actually quite surprised. I'm really happy that a lot of games are doing that now. So this is the first game I'm excited for and I can't say enough good things about it. I probably could keep going on for hours. <laughs> So the next one here, super cute, called Garden Buddies. Super cute, uh, such cute little characters in this game. And what I liked it is that it has um, different, um, almost mini games to help with anxiety in this game, which I was quite surprised of. I was like, we need a game for this. And as an anxiety girly, spoke to me it spoke to me but basically you're in this garden so you get to take care of your um little character there um in this little tranquil oasis so you get to meet new friends um you know as well as being able to relax a little bit there's different um breathing techniques and grounding techniques that it teaches you um as well as just being able to escape and just be in this relaxing atmosphere with these little, little cute little tangs. It's just cute little, little dudes, whatever they are. They're adorable. And just the fact that it teaches you about mental health and how to ground yourself and breathing techniques. I was like, yes, I need this, please. <laughs> okay, the next one for everyone who played Nintendogs growing up. I got a good one for you. This is Little Friends Puppy Island, it's called. And yes, it's basically like Nintendo Dogs, but updated and all new and fancy. So basically, you get your little dog, you could take care of them, feed them, bathe them, take care of them, go for walks. As well, you're on this island. So you get to explore the island um, and you get to uncover different locations, become with uh, different friends, um, as well as training your puppy, dressing them up, all that kind of good stuff. So basically, it's like a brand new... Nintendogs game and I mean I grew up on Nintendogs I'm absolutely loving it as soon as I saw this I like 
almost jumped out of my chair straight up. <laughs> like, oh, it just seems like such a cute game. So for anybody who played Nintendogs as a kid, here's your game for you. <laughs> hey, this next one's a little silly, but it's so, so, so freaking cute. I can't, like, you're a dinosaur making pizzas. It's Manita's Kitchen, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, but basically, you are a T-Rex trying to make pizzas, and you're trying to make a living, living your dream of making pizzas. Uh, so basically, you make uh, pizzas, you unlock new recipes, as well as dealing with high-stress situations that end up coming up, um, and all that kind of fun stuff, little challenges along the way, but I thought this was so cute. Like, it was one of those games that was like, really? Like, but no, that makes sense, because he's a little T-Rex trying to navigate his way to, like, make pizzas with his tiny little arms. And because of that, I was like, yes, I need this game in my life, so... <laughs> That is why it is on this list. Okay, this is the one for any of my management people who like those management kind of games. A tiny bookshop. Uh, so this one is super cute. Basically, you own a little tiny bookshop by the sea and you get to manage it. So basically, you collect your secondhand books and decorations. You can choose all the decorations. You can take stock of your book, customize your bookstore, as well as getting to know the townsfolk and uh, exploring the town a little bit and getting to know the people that live in the town. Basically, this game is just super cute. The fact that you can decorate the outside of it and the inside and get to beat all the people in the town. It's just, oh, it's so cozy. And I love the management games. It's super weird, but like, I grew up on Roller Coaster Tycoon, so I love the management games like deep, deep down in my heart. So when I was, when I saw this, I was like, yes, I want to manage my little bookstore. So cute. But yeah, this is uh, probably going to be one I'm definitely going to be buying because I love me with some management games. <laughs> Okay, and the next one here um, is called A Highland Song. Um, this one I thought was kind of interesting. I don't usually go for these kind of games. It's a platform, like 2D kind of thing, um, kind of style thing. <laughs> it's a 2D kind of platform game, so I'm not, I don't, that's not usually my go-to, but um, it's based in Scotland. So the, uh, it's a, Highland Scotland mountain area and you collect the songs like song pieces um, as this girl's traversing through the terrain and the hills and the mountains and everything like that the music sounded stunning during the trailer so and the graphics were amazing like I love the style of it so I was like you know what I'm kind of digging this you know I would buy this like a hundred percent and it was a little bit unique so I was like oh yeah We'll, we'll vibe with it. Okay, this one's really good. This is good for my creative girlies or they thems. Um, but you own a sticker shop on this one. It's called Sticky Business. So basically you can customize and make your own stickers and sell them to customers. So you can completely customize the sticker to however you however you want. Um, as well, you can pack up the orders, customize how you pack them, and send them off to customers. And you get to you know get requests from customers on what they want. And quote me if I'm wrong, future Daytona, but I'm pretty sure there was a Twitter post that I saw that there's a Twitch integration for all my Twitch streamers out there that uh, your chat can request stickers for you to make. So I thought that was cool. Um, please, future Daytona, please double check if that is accurate or not. <laughs> but yes, this game is super cute for any of my creative people out there. You know, if you guys want to pretend like you own your own Etsy store, your own sticker shop, I think this is perfect for you. All right, and this next one is actually a phone app. Unfortunately, it is only on Google Play. It's not on Apple iOS, but this one is called Window Garden, and it's a lo-fi idle game. So basically, kind of as it says, you have a window garden, and it's a lo-fi game. <laughs> so basically, you can maintain your variety of plants in the world and immerse yourself, explore, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff while having this relaxing, cozy, lo-fi gaming aesthetic. And the fact that it's for, you know, phones is great. 
I think they're working on getting it on the Apple store. So if you have an Apple phone, be patient, maybe keep up with their social medias, but I know it is for sure on Google play. And I will probably be downloading it after this video because who doesn't love a cute little lo-fi idol game? Like who doesn't want that just hanging around? <laughs> All right. And this next one, uh, it is currently already out and has been out for a little while, but it was included with the wholesome direct. So I'm going to throw it in here cause I might download it here soon. Um, they have run a press, plethora of different awards and stuff like that. It is called It is called Wildflowers and it's such a cute game. It's fully voice acted, which I'm kind of obsessed with because I love Stardew Valley, but there's no voice acting and it makes it so hard to read the dialogue. I just my ADHD can't. So the fact that it's fully di like fully like dialogue voice acted is amazing. But basically you play as this girl Tara moved into a little island to help her family out, you know, as per every farm village game. Um, but with a twist, there are um, a witchy aspect at night so she's tending to her garden and her farm during the day you know doing all the things with her animals and her crops but at night she is working on her witchy powers so along with getting to know all the village characters you know she is trying to learn and discover herself as a witch which is super exciting this game looks super cute i'm absolutely obsessed with everything about this to be honest and the again the fact that it's fully voice acted Take my money, please. <laughs> Such a good game. I would definitely highly recommend it. And the next one here. This one's a little bit silly. This is on the silly side. That's why it's for last. But um, Toaster Ball. Toaster Ball. Toaster Ball. It is what it is. It's it. what it sounds like. It's Toast, you're a toaster playing tennis, basically. Uh, and it is up to a four player co-op. So you can play with your friends, but basically you're a toaster and you're just trying to not get the ball in your net. So you have to either do by means so of jumping and or popping the toast out of your toaster, which I think is super adorable. <laughs> it was so silly looking. I was like, okay, I need this. There are lots of different uh, gameplays to do, uh, lots of different events, um, as well as playing with friends. You can also play with computers and stuff like that. But this game overall just looks like such a fun game. I feel like this is such a fun, like, hang out with your friends during the weekend and, you know, you guys are bored, play some toaster ball. I think, I don't know, it's just amazing in my opinion. <laughs> It's so silly, but it's so perfect all at the same time. So that is it of our 10 games that we, or at least the 10 games I'm most excited for from Wholesome Direct. These are my own personal opinions. There was, hundred, there was like a hundred other games. So please go check out their list, wholesomedirect.com, I believe. It's just, they have um, all the links to all the games that were presented. It, there's a lot of good games on there, so I definitely go recommend checking it out if you haven't. Don't take my word for everything. Everyone's got their own thing. There were lots of different puzzle games if you're into that as well. Um, I think there were a couple more iOS games as well or app games, so go check that out. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching till the end. I hope it wasn't too long. I kept, tried to keep it short and sweet because um, <laughs> I hate, I know personally when things start dragging out because my ADHD just goes, what's that, shiny thing? <laughs> Okay, but you guys have a good rest of the day, morning, evening. I hope you have a great time. I appreciate you being here. Click that like button, subscribe. I'm not good at YouTube stuff, so just press some buttons for me. That would be really appreciated. <laughs> All right, well, hey, thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Bye.